The fight between David Benavidez and Caleb Plant is announced to have around 17,000 people in the audience, as well as millions of virtual ones. Guarantee you I'm gonna knock Caleb Plant out before round six. Guaranteed. This highly anticipated fight is confirmed to take place on the 25th of March, 2023, and fans of both these amazing boxers are quite excited to watch them battle it out in the ring. Both the boxers are known for their power, and many are expecting this fight to be quite a brutal super middleweight event. The fight has been scheduled to take place at the famous MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Whoever wins this match will have to go against the famous and lethal super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez. In 2017, David won the WBC super middleweight title, but the title was taken away from him as he was tested to have been involved with cocaine. Can he finish off Lemieux? Lemieux in trouble! Why are we watching the However, he returned to the ring in 2019, where he beat Anthony Durrell, securing him the belt in the process. Ooh, body for His last fight was against David Lemieux, and that ended with a neat third-round TKO. The rivalry between Plant and Benavidez has been going on for a long time, with each of them calling out the other. In fact, Benavidez has even shown up at Plant's fights to egg him on. Not so long ago, at a pre-fight press conference, Benavidez stated, This has been a fight in the making for the last five years, and it couldn't have come at a better time. I am at my best right now mentally and physically. On March 25th, I finally get to put hands on Caleb Plant. He further added, When you're on the ground bleeding, you learn how to respect a real fighter. I'm what you want to be. You're a chump. But on March 25th, I get to put hands on Caleb Plant, and trust me. Now let's take a look at a few fights that these two boxers have been part of. First, let's take a look at the fights that David Benavides has been a part of. Anthony David Benavides is a professional American boxer who also happens to be a two-time WBC super middleweight champion. In addition to this, he's currently ranked by the ring as world's best active super middleweight. He has been nicknamed El Bandera Roja, which translates to the red flag. He's currently not a man to be messed with in the ring, or even out of the ring. In his fight against Dennis Doglin, David shifted from orthodox to southpaw in the sixth round. Following this move, he threw in a few body shots, followed by a right hand. In the last few rounds, things got all the more interesting when he threw in a four-punch combination, followed by a left uppercut to Dennis's head. David did not stop despite the fact that his opponent was on the floor. First time he's ever been past seven rounds. Double. Oh, knockdown David continued to throw uppercuts and hooks until the referee had to intervene. David is quite a mighty fighter in the ring, and he also happens to be an undisputed champion. Moreover, 23 of his wins have been secured by knockout, while 3 of his wins have been secured by decision, leaving him with a total record of 26 wins. El Bandera Roja Benavides. Another prominent fight that David has been a part of is his fight against Rogelio Medina. In this match, David awed the crowds with a dramatic six-punch combination that sent his opponent to the floor. This led Medina to fall through the ropes in defeat. In David's match against Kyron Davis, the match got pretty brutal real fast. The first few rounds seemed like the boxers were having a warm-up session. Following this, in the seventh round, Davis was cornered against the ropes by Benavidez. Davis was struggling to hold on to his defense. David took advantage of his position and kept throwing power shots at his opponent's body. David then went on to throw quite a few combination punches, due to which the match had to be stopped before Chiron could face any irreparable injuries. Benavides, he figured one more combination would end it. There's a right uppercut, a left hook, and now they are waving in, they throw in the towel, and this one is over! Another entertaining match that David Benavides was a part of was his match against Anthony Durrell. In this match, David won via ninth round knockout. The match started off with Durrell playing it safe and staying out of David's range. Things slowly started to heat up in the second round and in the third round. David threw plenty of powerful punches at Anthony's body. Round to 15 seconds remaining in round two. In the fifth round, David outworked his opponent with the aid of a straight right hand that left his opponent in shock. In the sixth round, David threw in a left hook that caused a gash to open up above Durrell's right eye. 
The following rounds included quite a few hard blows thrown by David at his opponent. In the ninth round, the towel had to be thrown in the middle of the round to avoid Durrell from leaving the ring in a stretcher. Just right now, just getting battered by David Benavides. I got him up these last four That's rounds. It. They're going to stop the fight right now. Now that we've taken a good look at David's performances, let's take a look at Plant's performances. Plant turned pro in 2014. He was once an amateur kickboxer who climbed up the rungs of the game to be where he is today. During his career, Plant beat Jose Uscategui in 2019 for the IBF Super Middleweight belt. He even defended it multiple times before Canelo snatched the belt from him in November 2021. Caleb has fought a total of 23 matches and has only lost one of them so far. Out of these 22 wins of his, 13 have been via knockout while 9 have been via decision. On the 17th of February 2018, Caleb Plant went up against Rogelio Medina. At that point in time, he was ranked in the 6th position at the IBF Super Middleweight and Rogelio held the 12th position. This match was quite important for both of them as it was an IBF Super Middleweight Eliminator for the second ranked position as well as for the position of the IBF Mandatory Title Challenger. Throughout the match, Plant played quite powerfully and threw in quite a few classy jabs that caused immense damage to his opponent. Inside the first two rounds of both guys. Plant held on to a superior ring craft to avoid Medina's range advantage, and he was quite successful at dodging it. Plant was able to win the match via a unanimous decision after he won the hearts of the judges with his amazing performance. If you're wondering what his scores that night were like, well, it was 120 to 108, 119 to 109, and 117 to 111. On the 20th of July 2019, Caleb fought Mike Klee where he made his first IBF title defense. Lee was clearly the underdog and Plant was everyone's favorite. Plant earned a technical knockout victory in the third round after performing extremely well in the first two rounds. In fact, it was just 37 seconds into the first round when Plant outlanded Lee. In the second round, Plant staggered Lee with a body shot. It was in the third round when Lee was floored thrice with a right straight, a left hook, and a right straight. Referee Robert Bird stopped the match at 129 minute to prevent any further injuries. Might be the reason he runs into another hard yes. punch like that. Yeah. Another great match that Plant was a part of was his match against challenger Vincent Figginbutts. This fight took place on the 15th of February 2020. This was Plant's second title defense. He was in the third position in terms of IBF's super middleweight ranking, and the fight was scheduled as a main event for PBC on Fox. This was quite huge for Plant too, as this was his first fight in Nashville, which happens to be his native land. Plant started this match strongly and won the 10th round via technical knockout. Plant was quick to establish a powerful jab as and when he got the opportunity to do so. Plant also accompanied these jabs with powerful shots that landed on Figginbutt's body as well as his head. The match got pretty intense and referee Malik Walid had to step on to stop the match in the 10th round. It was quite a neat stoppage and even Figginbutt said, I can't disagree with the stoppage. The referee did a very good job. Plant stated, we're both at the top of the division. This rivalry only started because we agreed to disagree on who's better and that's fine. He should feel like that. That's how great fighters are supposed to feel. It's slowly built up over time. I never said David's a bad fighter because I have no interest in fighting bad fighters. I want to fight good fighters and make big fights. This is the best fight that could have been made in the division. Caleb Plant and David Benavidez are two great fighters who have their own strengths and weaknesses. Now, whether they use their strengths to the best of their abilities is something we will only come to know after we witnessed them battle it out in the ring on the 25th of March. We are sure that when David and Caleb meet in the ring, they're going to make it a match worth talking about. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out some of our other videos if you enjoyed this one.